our basic offering, a movie, uh, can be enjoyed in so many different ways, right? From, from obviously, our big screens uh, to somewhat smaller screens at home, although those are getting bigger, uh, all the way down to the iPhone, right? And a movie um, lives in so many different forms for, for such a long time, right? I mean, th when they first open in our screens, that's, that's, that's obviously uh, the very beginning of that, of that content's life, uh, but, but the movies never go away. I mean, you can sign up for Netflix, you can sign up for Amazon Prime, you can sign up on any number of services, um, and boy, there are movies there that, that um, you know, that are, that are old, but there are classics that touch people's heart in a certain way, and, and people continue to enjoy them for years. Um, that's all great. Um, the experience, though, um, is the piece that we, um, that we have a competitive edge over all of those other ways of enjoying a movie. Um, I have believed, continue to believe, and, and for a long time, um, I hope are, are going to make the point that um, what we provide is more than just a movie. Uh, and although we don't control the movie, we're not in the business of making them, we are in the business of showing them, um, what we do influence and what we do control is the experience um, that accompanies that movie. That's what, we can, that's what we can do, that's what we can influence, that's what we can be better at, that's what we, we tend to be good at. Um, and that part had been, frankly, forgotten by the industry. The advances in technology in making a movie um, over the last 20 or 30 years, none of them were evident uh, or uh, in any way replicated um, by the movie going experience. The food at a concession stand uh, 30 years ago and the food still at many concession stands today is the same. The movies are not, the technology is not, the food is. The seats were not at all changed. Well, we've changed that with the, with the recliner receipts. All of a sudden, the experience of going to the movies is uplifted in the same way that the technology involved in making movies has been uplifted. And people have reacted to that. That's what we've seen the results that, that we've seen in the receipts. And look, ultimately, um, the truth is uh, movie going uh, is embedded in the American social fabric. Um, I've, I've discussed and argued, actually, this with analysts and many others. Um, and and my, my bottom, rock bottom comment is this. So long as 17-year-olds want to date other 17-year-olds, we stand a chance. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and it's working out so, so far. It's working out, it's working yeah, out well. Yeah, as long as we have 17-year-olds, we should continue to be just fine. I, and as a parent, <laughs> I want the 17-year-olds going to a movie theater. It is a safer and better alternative than so many other things that are out there for yeah, them. Yeah, I totally agree. So.